Hi there, I'm Christian Stevenson with the Mississippi State University Extension Service in Hancock County. I'm recording this video as an addition to the videos that I just recently uploaded on insects and diseases in the home vegetable garden. What I wanted to do is just uh, really quickly show you some resources that you can find on the Mississippi State University Extension website. Uh, so on your screen, you should see uh, one of our publications, and this is one of the many publications that are available at extension.msstate.edu. And, and I believe I mentioned this in my presentation. Um, this is a great publication on insect pests of the home vegetable garden. Uh, it's going to include uh, help, you know, help for you in identifying uh, different insect pests, as well as give you some really good useful information on how we can manage those pests. So just going through that, it's gonna talk uh, some, just some general, good general information on insect management, uh, as well as identifying a lot of the insects that you may encounter. Uh, more insects that I mentioned during the, the brief presentation that I gave. Uh, give you some really good information on how we can manage those pests. So I encourage you to you know, make use of this resource. I uh, really can help you uh, solve a lot of the insect problems that you might have in your home vegetable garden. Uh, so of course, I also encourage you to contact your county extension agent. Uh, they can help you with identification of insect pests. Um, really good effective control it is going to begin with proper insect ID and really just monitoring in our home gardens uh, in order to make sure that we're keeping an eye out for the development of any pest populations. Um, but again, uh, this is the publication that you can find at extension.msstate.edu. Uh, you can search uh, for insect pests, the home vegetable garden, and find that, or you can search for vegetable insect pests, uh, really any, any of those options, and find, you know, get access to this resource. I think it'll be really valuable for you. On the plant disease side of things, there's another great page. Again, this is extension.msstate.edu. Um, uh, look for vegetable diseases uh, in the little search bar right there, uh, and that's gonna bring up this page. Uh, it's got, gives you access to a lot of really great publications. Uh, they're gonna help you address some of the plant disease issues that you have. Uh, some of those are going to be specific for uh, different uh, plants and different diseases that you can get. Uh, in fact, I was out in my garden earlier today uh, and I do have downy mildew on my basil and need to uh, effectively manage that. Uh, I see a lot of publications here for tomatoes, for different diseases you may encounter. And in fact, I'm just going to zero in on this one publication. Um, it's really good, uh, very great pictures uh, of diseases you may encounter in tomatoes and indeed in a, in a range of other crops. Uh, some great help in uh, diagnosing these uh, problems as well as uh, in managing them. Uh, so I encourage you to look up those publications. Um, these are all put out by our uh, plant pathology specialists uh, and our, uh, of course, vegetable specialist uh, for plant disease uh, is Dr. Rebecca Melanso. Uh, now, one of the other tools that we can use in uh, assisting uh, people here in Mississippi with plant disease problems uh, is diagnostic services. Uh, so we can help identify and what disease you may have, uh, as well as help you know, provide some management recommendations for that. So, of course, I always uh, suggest people contact their county extension agent. Uh, you know, get use that resource. Uh, a lot of times we have uh, seen that problem a number of times. Uh, have a really good idea what's going on. Uh, you can just very quickly respond with what the most effective treatment is going to be. You know, occasionally I run into things and I'm having some difficulty identifying them. Uh, I know that happens to a lot of us. Um, and so we're fortunate that we do have a plant disease diagnostic service that we can use here uh, for plant diseases and for nematodes. 
that is run by Miss Clarissa Balbayan, um, who is absolutely fantastic uh, at identifying those disease problems and, uh, and responding with really effective management tools. Um, so all really wonderful resources. I encourage you to go to the website, extension.msstate.edu, uh, look up that information on insect pests in the home vegetable garden, uh, as well as the information on plant diseases. Uh, contact your county extension agent if you're having an issue. Uh, you can always feel free to contact me as well. Uh, and we're uh, here as a resource for people of Mississippi, and uh, I certainly look forward to speaking with you. Uh, so thanks, I just wanted to come back uh, after those other two videos and make sure that you were aware of those resources. Have a wonderful day.